What's going on YouTube? My Larks here today. We're back for another player review. This time on Kukurella Shapeshifter card. Now, he normally is a left back card anyway. That's where he's mostly played this season for Brighton. 5 for 8, high immediate work rates, left footed, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Has the lean body type in game, so I'm interested to see how good this card is. There isn't too many good left backs in the Premier League apart from Tots Cancelo, so again, be good to see if this is another good alternative anyway. As you can see, anchor chemistry style, I feel like it's going to be the best chemistry style for him. As you can see, dribbling and passing is already really good, so you don't need to worry about that. Shooting's good, not enough to probably warrant him to play in, in a central midfield position. Obviously, as you can see, the pace is more or less maxed max out at 96, 98. Obviously, like I said, dribbling's really good. Lean body tap as well, 5 for 8. So this guy's going to be very smooth in game, very silky. Defensively, everything's maxed out apart from like the head and accuracy. Everything is in the, the high 90s anyway. Player traits, got the flare trait, speed dribbler and playmaker. So I will play this as a, a left back and as a left wing back. I don't think he's got enough about him to play as a central midfield player. I don't think he's going to be as good as Tots Cancelo. Like Cancelo's got the five star weak foot. Obviously he's high high as well. Obviously Cancelo has the shooting. He's just got that little bit more about him. I just think Cucurella at this stage of FIFA, he hasn't really got shooting. His passing's good. Everything's good. Obviously he high medium work rates is good for a fullback. So like I said, we probably will predominantly play him as a fullback. We'll see you know, what he's like in game. So we're going to play a few games of foot champs qualification and let's see how we get on. Oh, look at Cucurella coming around on the cover there. Basically saving a guaranteed goal. Great defending. There you go, as you can see, Cucurella on the overlap. Into Ronaldo. Ooh. Cucurella, great pace. Oh, there was just no one there waiting, but as you can see, attacking wise, it's a very good option to have. Nice burst acceleration. Yeah, nice one too, again with Cucurella. Jinking one way and another. Just couldn't get the cross in. As you can see, as a as a left back, even if you play him as a wing back, he's another attacking option. Again, able to match some of the best wingers in the game. Felipe Anderson shapeshift the card there. Again, as I keep mentioning, look at the pace of Cucurella, it's a nice ball through to Ronaldo. Ooh, should really be an assist as well. Again, what a pass that is. I'm lucky not to get the assist, Cucurella. Again, great covering. That's the defensive AI, as you see. Running back in position. Slings it up to the back post. Again, countless of opportunities. Oh, again, that's just a little bit over here where Kukarel is in that left channel, making the runs in behind the winger. Again, as you can see, Kukarel making that run in behind. Goes alone, there we go. Doesn't need anyone else. There we go, Kukurilla again. That defensive AI in the right position, making the tackles. Look at the pace, just away from a defender. Oh, it's a great defensive block. Won it back again. Oh, this Cucurella card's very good. So, as you see from the gameplay, this guy's an absolute beast. You know, his pace isn't maxed out on any of them, obviously. He's 96, 98. But what a card this is. You know, he's absolutely rapid, was leaving Quadrado behind. Uh, Hakimi, who I was playing up against. You know, obviously, like I said, I think he's a, he's a definite left back. That's the only position I'd say to play him as well. It's 
Passing's really good, as you see, the amount of assists he could have had, obviously, if Ronaldo if I could have scored with him. You know, defensively, strong as well, good defensive AI, as you would expect at this stage of FIFA anyway with most cards. Physically, as you can see, everything is maxed out, apart from the strength, which is 95. Obviously, he's got a lean body type in game as well, which makes him very, very meta as well. So, obviously, with that being said, obviously, when you are attacking with this card, it's like playing with your left or right winger. Very smooth in game. You know, like I said, he's just so good in game. Like, it's hard to explain. You need to use this card to sort of realise how good it is. I'd probably say, apart from Cancelo, this is probably one of the best left backs. You know, it's the, probably the best left back in the Prem, apart from Cancelo, of course. Uh, another good option as well, Spanish, plays in the Premier League. You're not going to struggle to get this guy in on 10 cam, that is for sure. You know, obviously, I didn't really use his shooting abilities. I don't think it's good enough at this stage of FIFA anyway to really want to use it. But like I said, with everything else, there's literally nothing more I can say about this card. A really, really good card. Very meta, body type, good defensive AI. You know, if I'm going to give it a rating out of 10, it's definitely going to be a 10. For I paid 57k for this card, you know. You can get an, an end game left back for 57k. You know, really, really good card. Really, really good card. So, yeah. So, yeah. Really top tier. I'd say this is a top tier left back. Not, like, one of the best like, on the game. But it's definitely up there. It's just below that top, top tier. Really, really good card. Obviously, he's got a few player traits as well, which makes him so good attacking-wise as well. So, if you are sort of one of them people that plays 3 or 5 at the back, obviously, with a speed dribbler and playmaker as a fullback, this is why this card is so good in game with that lean body type defensively and attacking you know all round he's very good but i just wouldn't play him at central midfield because i just don't think he has enough shooting abilities and, and the work rates as well being high medium yeah that's the only problem i'd say if you did want to play him at center mid but as a left back probably the best left back in the prem bar cancelo and a, one of the best left backs you know there is on the game to be honest with you not top top tier i wouldn't say he's better than cancelo but he's just in that little section below cancelo where He's a really, really good card. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for Cucurella. Really enjoyed using this card. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA without spending any money on the game, looking for ways to improve your team, but you're not too sure how, join my FIFA Trader Server group. The link is in the description below. It's free to join. It's on Discord. So make sure you go and check that out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, 